Data Technologies Rotary Laser Die Cutter brings corrugated die board production to a level never before achieved. A high power carbon dioxide laser consistently cuts die boards of the highest quality. A Pentium PC based controller allows user friendly integrated operation of the laser die cutter as well as design file management and modification. DTI's laser blade process maximizes speed while minimizing fumes and energy consumption. Data Technologies Rotary Laser Die Cutting System. The rotary die cutter is highlighted by its ease of operation. From start to finish, a 900 inch board can be set up and cut perfectly within 30 minutes. The setup procedure includes three areas of preparation. Design, machine and material, and laser. First, a CAD design file is loaded onto the laser design computer where it is customized and made ready for cutting. Bolt holes, handles, intermediary supports, bridges, text, and strip rule are all calculated here with a menu-driven point-and-click interface. This file is then transferred to the laser system controller. This PC-based Pentium controller accesses the design information to prepare the machine and material. The cylindrical supports are positioned using a small laser pointer. These are slid into place, fastened, and verified by the pointer. The die board shell is placed onto the supports and fastened. The drill and counter bore head drills holes as indicated by the design file. These holes are used to bolt the die board to the cylindrical supports and they will eventually be used to secure the die board to the final die cutting press. Once the material is in place and the laser is available, test cuts can be made to verify the kerf settings and the laser power. Any necessary changes can be made quickly on the PC controller and the cutting can begin. Data Technologies laser system cuts with an accuracy exceeding one one thousandth of an inch at speeds up to 150 inches per minute. Quality precision cuts attainable only with laser technology. The heart of the system is the laser itself. A carbon dioxide industrial laser beam originates in a resonator. This controlled invisible beam is released from the resonator and directed along the x-axis towards the beam delivery head, which also travels in the x-direction. The head intercepts the beam with a highly reflective mirror and redirects it along the z-axis, through the focusing lens, and onto the surface of the material. When it first leaves its origin, a laser beam has a precisely measured diameter indicated here by the white parallel lines. Ideally, this diameter does not change, but in reality as the beam travels away from the resonator, it diverges slightly, as indicated by the black dotted lines. When it finally hits the mirror on the z-axis head, the beam is spread out over a larger area. And if the head moves, as in DTI's flying optics laser system, the degree of divergence varies depending on where the head intercepts the beam. All of this could potentially affect the intensity and width of the final cut. Data Technology has developed and patented a beam divergence compensation technique. The z-axis and the x-axis work in conjunction through DTI's patented software. As the head moves along the gantry and the beam diverges, the focusing lens will move up or down the z-axis to compensate, keeping the width of the laser beam in the material precise at all times. To conserve energy and maximize cutting time, DTI's rotary laser system uses the laser blade or double pass process for making four and six point cuts. Instead of cutting the entire six point kerf, Data Technology's laser blade is focused to a narrow one point beam, about .014 inches in diameter. The beam then makes two highly accurate cuts on either side of the area that needs to be removed, allowing a small rectangular slice, four points in width, to drop out. By making this double pass, a wide cut is achieved in a shorter time, using less power, and causing minimal air pollution, 
having only two points width of wood burned for a six point cut. As the laser vaporizes the material and fumes are created, a 2300 CFM fume extractor pulls the fumes through the ventilation holes in the shaft, which then channels them out the exhaust hose on either end. The extractor also pulls fumes through a small hose attached to the tracking shoe, and the front cover contains any stray fumes to be eventually collected by the exhaust hose. All of this keeps your working environment pollution free. Data Technologies line of laser systems comply with all the safety standards as required by the government. An interlocked disabling system will not allow the laser to run if any part of the system is not in place. An infrared beam spans the front of the machine. If tripped, an alarm sounds and the machine immediately stops running. Covers made of acrylic will disperse any reflected beams. And a breakaway mechanism allows the head to break free if confronted with any unprogrammed obstacle. The head is quickly snapped into place and the program continues within seconds. The PRC carbon dioxide laser meets all CDRH standards and is fully serviced by Data Technologies experienced technicians. When your organization is ready to upgrade, one laser can be shared by a dual flat and rotary laser system. While one machine is active in setup procedures, the other utilizes the laser. In this setup, one employee can simultaneously monitor the progress of the cutting laser and manage the setup utilities of the other machine. Once the laser is free, it can be redirected to the other machine to immediately begin cutting a new program. Data Technologies Rotary Laser and Dual Laser Systems, a safe, fast, reliable solution to achieve laser quality dive board production designed to bring you and your company into the next era of CAD CAM production.